Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad Taste in Music, and today I have for you a special guest, a great friend of mine, a peer, a fellow reviewer, the, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> Buffalo Staple. I mean, I'm not that big of a deal, but like, you know, I appreciate the, the, the compliment for Brad. <laughs> the hyping. Yeah, man. Like. We have a collaboration review for one of the weirdest things that I've heard. Right. Just... Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> when you sent me the, the, the like Twitter, like, hey, man, you heard this album? Like, what the fuck is this, bro? This looks crazy. And you were saying it's like, yeah, don't listen too loud. I'm like, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, no. Like, how, yeah, how intense wild, is, yeah. could this possibly be? This thing is a is a very in your face, abrasive, distorted SoundCloud rap it's like, mixtape. It was pretty. Yeah. I know. Yeah, totally. It's kind of like a Buffalo staple. <laughs> <laughs> my first initial thoughts to this thing so when i first heard it the first track i actually think is pretty good right. like in terms of just having this kind of creepy feeling but this thing goes down some just this satanic hole Dude, yeah there are times where this, this album is like straight demonic man <laughs> there are some times where it goes, oh my god like that yeah, track um that, uh what's it xqv i think it was called that one oh was fucking God. insane. That was ridiculous. Like, it goes like from just soft here. I, I have my speaker. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. I'm not one to hate on noise. Right. Like, yeah. you know, you see. Yeah, it, yeah I, dude. I, I like you like experimental music. crazy shit? But the stuff I like has a direction. Yeah. This, this yeah. feels like it's just noise for the sake of I, noise. That's, honestly, yeah. I think the biggest issue with it is that it feels like just kind of like tasteless noise without much of a cohesive structure like it's, it's very jumbled like there are times where it's trying to be like hype as fuck and really like exciting and like turn and shit but there are times where it's trying to be like really sinister and evil and it meshes it in such a messy way it just kind of bleeds together to create just like a really like unsatisfying hole like, there are songs where like it, it's like trying to go for this like really eerie like sinister thing but then the song ends it's like a minute 30 seconds and it fails to really build that tone effectively and it just kind of divulges into sound like a hype song so it just kind of... I completely agree. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't change the fact that there were definitely songs that I thought were legitimately quite entertaining. Like oh, that yeah. XQV song. I can't lie, that was fun. Uh, and the song... So you enjoyed that song? Yeah, I thought that was tight as fuck. I can't lie, I enjoyed the show of XQ. <laughs> that was the most insane track. Because you hear the metronome at the beginning. I don't know if you know, at the very beginning, you hear like a little metronome. And like, dude, and then, and then yeah. like, you can't remember what the fuck. And um, Audacious There were a couple well. songs on yeah. here that were just like super slow, but then just completely kicked into yeah. like overdrive. Yeah, and exactly. the other one, Audacious. Yeah, Audacious. Hold on. That just... one was pretty insane. Yeah, the one where just like, right before it was supposed to do it, like it just mm -hmm. like... <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it just yeah. goes psychotic. It's nuts. Yeah, uh, I think... I think um, the calmest is. or tamest tracks on here would be Fusion was pretty chill, I guess, comparatively to the other tracks. And the song yeah. Only Aim is Damage, that was kind of tame. What do you think about Sorin? Also New Metal. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that was kind of low-key. I think that New Metal was probably my favorite song oh, like, right. in the beginning. It was just like I, it, it was not nearly as intense, like, right, yeah, not at yeah, all, it wasn't, compared to yeah. everything else. But he actually just has, like, a good flow over yeah, this. Yeah, I, yeah. I found the beat to be interesting. Sure, sure, so yeah. I, I, I like the, where you didn't... yeah, the new metal refrain is pretty tight as well. So, yeah, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a good refrain. Yeah, exactly. That was, that was a nice refrain. But uh, what, what would you say your thoughts on Syringe just as a rapper in general, just when it comes to the rapping side of it, like, vocally? Like, do you think he's a good MC um, at all? I think that he has a lot of interesting ideas right. going yeah, down yeah. here, and his flow definitely. There's there's a good handful of highlights, especially like new metal. And right, stuff, yeah, but, his flow's all right. Uh, like, um, what was that song? Uh, right before only aim is damaged. His flow on that was really sick, and uh, Bl oh, blood on the sink as well. He was sounding really good on that song. I enjoyed that. Track. Oh yeah, blood on the sink was. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was the track where like that really loud bass noise came in, like out of nowhere, like what the fuck, like it was like the oh yeah, like, that, out of nowhere, oh it was like it, it terrified me. I'm gonna play so yeah, blood on the sink. Yeah, that was the, yeah. just like the one part right where it's just the bass shows <laughs> it up. It was like one bass note that's like way louder than everything else. Here it comes. I know it's coming. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> that right there. It's like, what the fuck? Like, when you wear headphones, it's like, what? Like, where does that come from? Oh, yeah. When I first heard this album, I had, like, my, my beats on. <laughs> just, like, high definition. I heard that, and I was just like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it was like... It, dude, it terrified me. I, 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 hell, even the first track... That first track had that weird scraping, like, feedback noise. Oh, yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? It sounds scary, man. I really enjoyed that, though. Yeah, me like, too. That me was, too. like, super sinister yeah. and just so all over the right. place. Yeah, really. that first song, like, because the first song, like, it started off, like, it's like, okay, so he's, like, a SoundCloud, like, kind of trappish type, rap type rapper. And then the beat started just doing all this weird shit. Like, the drum pattern just started, he just started throwing in kicks and snares, like, where they wouldn't normally be. Just, like, here's another, like, he was like, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. And it created this really disjointed thing, but I kind of... 
dug it. It was just, it was interesting. It was cool. It felt like a really good start to the yeah, album. I yeah, will say it, it set the tone perfectly. I, I agree with that. But then I felt like as it was going, like when it got to uh, fuck you p uh, purely, like oh, yeah. I wish it would have maybe kept going with this kind of seems normal going into Sinister, right. but then it just sort of really just kicks into overdrive. <laughs> the bass drop scared. Yeah, like, like I was down, near, for my life. down near every drop. That's drop. terrifying. Yeah. The laziest track uh, would probably be the Rocks in My Socks song, because that hook was just kind of the yeah, worst. Yeah, I agree. Like, that song was lazy, yeah, it was just uh, like... but... I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> That's my other problem with this album is like the lyrics specifically with all these being like super short songs. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of songs on here that are like him really just having all this anger, mm -hmm. but it's not going anywhere. Sure. And when it does go somewhere, you get a song like, uh, oh, Yikes, where he's basically, yeah. it's the song about rape. Right, yeah, sure. Like, it's there's like the much really a... like over the top yeah, explanation. Right. So there's already much that, like a lyrical like, theme on this album, he seems to just kind of change topic a lot. He's very rarely, like, actually on topic. But, like, there are times where he goes really explicit and it gets kind of crazy, but it fits the theme of the, it, like, sonically it fits, like, the sound of it, I guess. It did fit yeah. the theme. Yeah. Right, it, it makes sense. It was kind of like the song Kim, you know, like the Eminem yeah, song. Yeah, right, right. Oh, that song is, like, exactly. too much. Yeah, yeah, it was, like, just, just like, like, it's just really, towards it's, like, trying to, yeah, me. like, yeah, like, Kim, that's actually a decent comparison, because, like, the whole point of that song is to just display how fucked Eminem is. And that's kind of what every track yeah. on here is going for. That's like the whole... <laughs> if if you love Kim, you're going to love this. And I think Kim's a pretty good song. I mean, for what it's going for, obviously. But like... Yeah, that's the thing is Kim, it's probably the one song like I'll always skip on when I'm listening right. to it. Right, I think it's a great song. Like, but like, I'm never going to like go and listen to it for fun. But it's just so... It sounds so authentic, which I think was really impressive. Oh, yeah. Uh, but like, I, I think... I'd, I'd say actually, you know what? One of the weirdest tracks, in my opinion, on, on, on Hell Horse was the song Cancer. Because the way oh. the way he kept saying the word cancer genuinely freaked yeah. me out. Because he sounded like if Gollum was like slightly more articulate, and he just suddenly had this weird like insatiable hunger for cancer, <laughs> and he just kept screaming cancer. And I was like, the fuck! I <laughs> this song actually really annoyed me because I cannot listen to this song without just yeah. thinking of this album as cancer. <laughs> I was thinking of the same, dude. That that song is the most indicative of this album that there is. It's just like cancer, cancer. Like yep. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like he knows it. Like he knows his character. Yes. Like, yeah. And the final track, the um, I I want my own motherfucking cloud. My own motherfucking cloud. Uh, yeah, like his voice, his vocals on that track have like four million <laughs> effects on it, which was kind of like it was distorted and reverb oh, yeah. and echo. It was like it was like the fuck. And the way plus it had no groove. Yeah, going yeah there was no, that was my there thing. was no like yeah, exactly no like bounce or anything. And the, and it ended off really weirdly. Like he just, he was just like rambling randomly. Like, just kind of just... Ins and then it just, it just stopped. stopped. I mean, then I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> was like there was no, like, really. inconclusive finish. I think it was uh, Settle Down. Uh, on this track, he was sort of rapping from the perspective of, like, his haters uh, on the lyrics. I noticed he was, like, sort of rapping from that perspective, like, all the typical critiques. I guess people have of him. Mm -hmm. He was sort of making light of Oh, yeah, that. he got really pissed off on yeah, that yeah, track. Yeah, right. And it kind of yeah. felt, like, genuinely mad. Yeah, you know? sure, sure, like, that's true. But it felt a bit, to me at least, a bit, a bit inconsequential by the end. Like, like, what am I getting out of this? Like, okay, people hate you for this and this and this. But it felt like it didn't really go anywhere. Like, it didn't feel like a developed thing. Yeah, exactly. It kind of felt like teenage petty. Right, yeah, angry. exactly. That's kind of how it felt. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, like, and that's kind of the biggest issue, I think, with this thing. It's just kind of jumbled and nothing really gets fully developed. It's like a collection of really angsty, just mad, aggressive songs. And there are times where he does genuinely pull off this like really sinister evil sound well and it creates a genuine effect like well that was kind of cool like on that xqv song for example or yeah. on that first track as well or audacious uh, but overall it's just way too underdeveloped and and just kind of messy i can agree i'll say like probably my biggest issue with this had to be well actually i have a lot of issues <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's not perfect it's the sloppiness and the fact yeah. that it'll be like a 10 in intensity and then just kind of have like a yeah. three or two without actually exactly. going anywhere exactly like this, this album is Where very it's, like, yeah, it's very just loose and raw and unhinged and just like you said like yeah it's just kind of doing whatever that's the aesthetic of it but it does result into lazy cheap songwriting just like you know like fuck it we're at three intensity right now but it will be really cool right if we just randomly brought up to 11 like it's just a lazy idea like you're not doing yeah, anything exactly. with it you're just like fuck it let's just shove bass his face for no reason just to scare him to kind of add to that kind of sinister feel that he's going for uh, but yeah, it ultimately exactly. comes off like a cheap gimmick so it's just like okay so i gimmicky yeah, there you yeah, go. yeah that's exactly how i kind of felt listening to what about the song uh beat your head oh fuck yes. that one was like that was the one where it started off i thought the beat was sick at first i was like yeah this beat is kind of cool but then he started singing oh, and, I he, agree. and the yeah, auto-tune on his voice 
went so high. Like I was like, Jesus Christ, you went so high. <laughs> yeah. but honestly, I can't lie, man. I can't lie. The second I heard that, I imagined like you impersonating it with your auto tune effect in your video or something. <laughs> like I imagine, like I could see Brad like in his video mimicking this with like a zoom in or some shit. Like I just thought, and you just know it's like <laughs> I'm gonna be. It's, it's the kind of thing that you would like impersonate. And yet you totally called it because yeah. that's, that's totally what I did. Yeah, and, and also yeah, the hooks. I think the hooks on this album kind of suck. Um, with the exception of that new metal track, which had a nice hook to it, a nice groove, and uh, rocks. Yeah, so, rocks. So, yeah like, they're very just like he just kind of repeats the hook, or the, or the name of the song. He repeats the name of the song, like on an "Unleash Me," where he's just like "Unleash Me," and he's just like saying that again and again. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, so, it's kind of, oh yeah, that's the thing is it kind of had that XXX Tentacion kind of edge. Yeah, exactly. No, like direction. That sure, was another sure. Comparison I kind of was drawing. I was like, yeah, you yeah, know. it's tr- true. But I think just the the sonic journey of it is just such a roller coaster that. I would say I ultimately came away enjoying it, but it was just, like, ridiculously underdeveloped. And, like, again, lyrically, Attack was a whole bunch of shit. It's really all over the place. He very rarely stays on topic. But I just think the musical experience of listening to this is just so unbelievably jarring and insane. I agree. This album is, like, essential. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. have to hear this just uh, yeah. at least once to right. know, like, this shit is <laughs> 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 Like, someone sat down and made yeah. satanic it's, it's noise. Huh? Yeah, man, it's crazy. And uh, it kind of reminds me of Yeezus, in a sense. And it's just, like, a crazy, just sonic, insane roller coaster of someone going nuts. And I think Yeezus is like a more well-developed you know project with more nuance to it this is just like the same like really sinister evil aggressive sound for 18 tracks yeah clipping is a, is a clipping big one and stuff like i i know uh off of their clipping album like the intro check where it's like it's clipping bitch and yeah, yeah, and it's really, yeah exactly that ending bit of that song that like distortion that is a good summation of this album right there like that Everything's just like, poof, like, everything's just really like in your face and crazy. If you loved that, yeah. If you if you like that, you it's clipping, it. bitch. Poof, if you like that, then yeah, you're gonna dig Hell Horse by Syringe. So yeah, okay. So I think we pretty much covered essentially every track at this point. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. All right. Think, so so what if if you were to give this an overall score? Um, what would you say? And what are your favorite tracks? All right, my favorite tracks were Audacious, uh, Mass Critical Error, XQV. Um, and I'm gonna go with Blood in the Sink. High school, I'll give it a six. I give it a six. Yeah, it's all right, it's cool. You know, overall, it's not like really good. It's, it is kind of gimmicky and cheap, but it is just so unhinged and nuts to the point where my overall experience with it was just generally a positive one. It's nothing that I would like rush to recommend to everyone or anything, but if you're looking for just some crazy SoundCloud trap and distorted nuts aggressive shit then yeah this will this will probably suffice all right for me my favorite songs on here are probably most of them are like your, your least favorites okay new metal was absolutely sure. my favorite song mass critical error the starting track on here was really good yeah. i liked rocks in my socks <laughs> that that song i just just the way he says it yeah is, he's, like, is too good. Good. <laughs> he's really like rallying with it yeah yeah but i mean i, I would have enjoyed it more if the hook didn't go on for so long i guess it was just a very long hook you just kept yeah. playing it if it was like it was it was very length. repetitive if it was half length i probably would get down with it but yeah it was almost kind of like a break from the insanity though, sure, sure. You know? yeah that makes sense get it off me we didn't talk too much about this but it was yeah, just like you fuck. know it was a solid show yeah, it was just like really well done sure, yeah, sure just wish it was longer yeah that's the thing is it was like super short yeah yeah, yeah so those are my favorites and again again like the, the reason this thing appeals to me as a whole is because it's just so insane so the most insane moments just as a result stick out to me i definitely so, like i think that's the biggest appeal of this album yeah. is just the insanity exactly. that it is. Yeah. this was borderline unlistenable for me yeah. well, just because crazy. of the white noise yeah, that was created yeah, every just, track like, noise just, every like, track had this weird static shit in the background like every song had this weird like un- like unfiltered static like white noise in the background i was like what the fuck because here's the thing right? like, like when you were when you were dming me about this album you were selling it to be like this crazy thing so i was like okay I'm in the mood for the craziest shit ever. So when the craziest moments happens, those, those are the moments I enjoyed the most. That's funny you say that, because I was just, like, recommended, like, a fr- Oh, yeah, shit, I was supposed to shout him out. What, what up, Zach? But yeah, shout, go uh, Zach, dude. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 for suggesting this. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Zach. But he's yeah. like, hey, you should just check this out. And I was like, okay, yeah. and I did. And then cool. I was just like, what the hell did I just <laughs> listen to? Cool, so overall, what, what yeah, was the score? Overall, it was actually a 5.2 out of 10. Gotcha. I, I ended up enjoying it just a little more than just like, yeah. you know, okay. Sure. For the most part, it had some highlights. I, th- I saw a lot of potential. Like, yeah. like this guy, I think that he, he was to like really focus and sit down and like come up with something. He can make some menacing shit. Yeah, absolutely. Like he can make something that is just like nightmarish. This kind of felt like it was a little all over the place, mm-hmm. a little too mixed tapey yeah yeah 100 percent. very mixed tapey so generally all right well slightly above average is what we're both kind of feeling so yeah yeah exactly gotcha all right cool well thank you for this beautiful musical listening experience 
Brad and Zach. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, this was this Definitely. has been fun. Definitely check out Buffalo Staples channel. You, he makes some great content. Thank Make you sure much. you don't wear headphones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make sure you subscribe to me. Do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. My name is Bradley. Uh, you should probably all know, already know right. that, but yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Peace out. Yeah.